All right, so the big question here today is will these Golden State Warriors get 73 or more wins? And the simple answer to that is I don't think so. I don't think this Golden State Warriors will get 73 or more wins this season. Now, let me start off with saying I am a huge fan of super teams. And I can see why the owners and some fans around the league don't like it. Because they they say it's unfair. They think it's unfair. And I agree with that. I, I mean, I think it's unfair. But I'm a big fan of the league. I'm a big fan of players. I'm a big fan when players merge like this and form one team. I like it. I think it's great for the NBA. I think it's a lot more. The NBA gets more money because of it. It get more people tuned in because of it. And I definitely like this look of the Golden State Warriors. You know, you got Kevin Durant being the villain and everything. And the Golden State Warriors is now the... The villain team, you know, everyone hates the Golden State Warriors right now. But let me be the first to say that I actually am a fan of this. And, um, you know, when the Miami Heat did it back in uh, 2000, 2010 in the free agency in 2010, when LeBron James and Chris Bosh went to Miami Heat to join Dwayne Wade, everyone thought this team was going to win. Every, every, I mean, this was huge on paper. If you think about it, everyone thought they were going to go all the way, but they didn't end up going all the way. They ended up losing to Dallas Mavericks in the first year. Okay, so it took two years for this team to actually win a championship. Will this Golden State Warriors team get 73 more wins? I don't think so. The reason why I don't think so is because if you look at this team last year that got 73 wins, most of these guys that were on this roster, on this lineup, these guys have been playing with each other for a very long time. I'm talking about chemistry here. I'm talking about Harrison Barnes, who played his whole career with the Golden State Warriors. And Festus Isili, who also played his whole career with the Golden State Warriors. They've been playing with the Golden State Warriors since 2012, as well as Andrew Bogut's been there for since 2012. Then you got guys like Maurice Spates who's been there since 2013, and Leandro Barbosa, who's been there since 2014. So all those guys that I mentioned right now, they are no longer with the Golden State Warriors, and they all contributed huge in those 73 wins. So now, what happens? You get guys like Kevin Durant, you get guy, a guy like Zaza Pachulia and David West to join the Golden State Warriors, and on paper, this team looks fire. This team looks legit. I mean, let's just say how it is, but I'm not getting too carried away with this team because, to be honest, look, let's let's take a look at this chart right here. Um, we got last year's 73 win roster, and we got this year's current roster. And you can notice a few changes. Definitely, Kevin Durant is a huge step up, um, you know, to Harrison Barnes. You got a former MVP. You got a uh, scoring champion, Kevin Durant. 28.2 points per game last season and then you got Andrew Bogut who a lot of people say was a loss to the Golden State Warriors because this this man right here contributed big to the defense a lot of people think that it's a loss but if you look at his replacement Zaza Pachulia he, he's 9.4 rebounds per game definitely did a lot better than Andrew Bogut but that doesn't mean anything because Zaza Pachulia still has to get familiar with the offense the defense and the plays in golden state so in my opinion i think zaza pachulia definitely a huge step up i'm a big fan of zaza pachulia i mean of course he's not you know gonna have a lot of you know roles in, in golden state warriors everyone's focus is on the main four but i actually do like this pickup because i i watched him in dallas I think he contributed good. Uh, I was a big fan. Whenever I heard Andrew Bogut was leaving Golden, I mean Golden State, I was like Zaza. I was thinking Zaza Pachulia could be in this team, and he is. And I think he's, I think he's a great addition to the team. That, like I said, everyone's focusing on the core four right now. And um, when Festus Azili left, I think David West is a great replacement. 7.1 points per game. 
David West, who used to play with San Antonio Spurs to try and win a championship. San Antonio fell short, losing to the Thunder. And now you got David West trying again to win a championship here in Golden State. The one player that does, um, you know, step, you know, come up to mind that I think the Golden State Warriors did suffer a uh, a toll was with Maurice Spates. I think I was, I mean, th that's bad. That's the... I was a big fan of Murray Spates. He has 7.1 points per game, but per 36, he he 36 minutes, he actually contributed really well. I want to say he averaged about about 22 points per game and about 12 rebounds per game if I'm correct. Murray Spates was a huge loss. I mean, this guy, he could rebound and he can score. He was a great shooter. He was a big contribution to last year's championship when the Golden State Warriors beat Cleveland. He he contributed big. This finals he also played very well. Um we know Murray Spates, I think it's going to be kind of hard to find a guy like that to come off the bench, but I mean, you can always count on guys like David West. Uh, one guy that does not stand out in this current roster is Ian Clark. I don't know how Ian Clark plays. I mean, he averages 3.6 points per game. But I know that the Golden State Warriors are currently looking for other key pieces. There's still guys in free agency like Ray Allen, uh, Lance Stevenson. Who else is on there? Uh, I know they got guys like Mario Chalmers, you know guys like that who could contribute for the Golden State Warriors they need some key pieces some guys who are willing to you know get a pay cut to compete for a championship so on paper this Golden State Warriors team looks better and is better okay I think it's a huge a huge uh, step up for the Golden State Warriors but however I don't think they're gonna get 73 or more wins